Okay, today we are going to be making a fun picture using a lot of different lines. So as you are creating your lines, I want you to think about trying to make some look a little bit more thick and then some with a little bit more thin of a line. We're going to be using an oil pastel. Remember, we tried these out before. They're like a creamier crayon, so they are a little bit more messy than crayons. So please just be careful of that. So if you need to make a thin line, you wanna to try to use the very edge of your oil pastel. A thick line, you might want to hold it a little bit more flat against your paper. So we want to create different types of lines and we are going to do what I call taking our line for a walk. So we're going to start our line on one side of the paper and take it for a walk the whole way across. So what we will do is we will be choosing one line at a time to take for a walk. Now some of these lines, like you see, we might have to do multiples of the line and that will just be for a few of them. So I am going to choose a zigzag first. I'm going to start way up here and I'm going to take a zigzag line for a walk across my paper. Okay, now that I have my zigzag line, I'm going to create a line of swirls or spirals. So now I'm going to choose another type of line, vertical lines. And since vertical lines go up and down and we're going across our paper, I'm going to make a lot of vertical lines that go the whole way over. Let's try a wavy line. Maybe a dotted line. Now I'm going to make some diagonal lines. Now you can see I'm kind of running out of space, but I have a few more lines that I would like to make. So you might have to work up in an area where maybe you have a little bit more space. So broken or dotted lines. I still need to make a horizontal line too. So if you feel like you still have some room, if you wanted to add in another line, Maybe I could make another wavy line. Maybe I'll make one wavy line a little bit thicker. Just be careful about where you're resting your hand so that you do not smear your artwork. Once that is done, you can set your oil pastel aside and you'll be ready for the next step. 